You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a brand new face for Greater Brockton. I have Katie Tyler, who's the Vice President of Violence Intervention and Prevention. Correct? Yes. That's I got correct. it right. It's I got to put it. <laughs> that's okay. Um, you help people. Yes. You help people that um, need to deal with tough situations, domestic yes. violence situations. And I was looking around on Facebook. I'm the event king, and I was I found something that looked interesting to me. It said Purple Purse and Purple Tie Awards. Very cool. And we were talking off camera. Our president of our board of directors, Joe Miranda, who's a Brockton police officer, who's one of the honorees for either the first or the second, I'm not sure which, and you're doing it all over again. So tell us about the event. We can talk a little bit about the organization. We'll give out all your information, website, phone number, Facebook, whatever, so people can know where to go for services. Right, great. So this is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and so that's why we're holding our third annual Purple Purse, Purple Tie Awards, and it's to honor members of the community who have made a crucial difference through their work in the lives of victims of domestic violence. Mm -hmm. um, and we're really excited about it. It's on October 16th, as you mentioned. Um, and then we're also uh, participating in our Purple Purse Challenge, and that will be the fifth annual Purple Purse Challenge. And you can go to our website, www.healthimperatives.org, to participate in that fundraiser. It's a national fundraiser, and you have an opportunity to win a bag designed by Serena Williams if you choose to participate in that. There you go. Now, where is the event going to be held? It's at the Mockingbird Restaurant. Which is on 18 in East Bridgewater, that's I think. That's correct. Okay, yeah. that's a beautiful place, yeah, by the way. Yeah, it'll be a nice event. There aren't a lot of function facilities left in Brockton anymore. <laughs> so we're, we're going to West Bridgewater, we're going to East Bridgewater. <laughs> but I've gone there. Chambers done events there. The food is good. It, plenty of parking. You're not fighting traffic for the most part. What time? Um, it'll be a breakfast event, so it'll start at 9 a.m. Breakfast at 9, okay. Um, and this provides money for your organization to support people that, that need the services. Yes, we know one in three women are victims of domestic violence across the course of a lifetime, and one in four men experience domestic violence. And that, that could take many different forms. Obviously, there's this physical abuse, this sexual abuse, verbal abuse. Mm -hmm. um, too many to mention. Too bad we're even having to talk about it, but, it, but it's there. And um, Brockton's a real diverse community, so people, um, it, 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 it's, it's hard enough to access services if, if you're scared and you, you've been here for years, but if you're a newcomer to this country, if you're a new immigrant mm -hmm. to this country, mm -hmm. or if you're somebody that is kind of here at the moment, they're not a citizen yet, it's going to be really scary, especially in this day and age where um, if you, people think if they report something, they're going to get deported. Right, right. So I'm sure that's a challenge. Absolutely, and um, that's something that we educate about and we let immigrants know what their rights are. Many of our staff speak uh, different languages, Cape Verdean Creole, Haitian Creole, Portuguese, and Spanish. Um, so we really try to serve the most vulnerable. Um, we have our Penelope's Place shelter, mm. and anything that um, people donate to the Allstate Challenge will support our Penelope's Place shelter. It's a five-bedroom shelter, um, and we have 12 beds there. And where is that located? In Plymouth County. Plymouth County. It's a okay. confidential shelter location. Okay, yep, um, <laughs> yep, okay. I, I knew Plymouth County and Brockton is the city in Plymouth mm -hmm. County. Okay, um, and you partner with other different domestic violence groups. There's a lot of different ones. People have founded a lot of different nonprofits. Health Imperatives is a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. So everybody works together to, to, to provide the services, you know, and, and get, get people the, the different help that they need. So you gave us the website. Is there, um, you know, to get tickets to the breakfast? I saw the Facebook. Is that the best way to get? 
Yes, probably to go on our website is the best way to find out information um, and see how you can be of support to the organization. Um, and also, it's really important for victims out there who might be listening to know that they can reach out for support to our emergency crisis line. And that phone number is 508-588-8255. And that's a nice Brockton number that everyone's going to remember, the 58. That, that number's kind of <laughs> gone by. Though. It's hard to get the first two digits way back in the day with uh -huh. Juniper. <laughs> before, I was a, before I was even a kid, okay? Everything is a cell phone nowadays, so it's a real number where people can talk to a real person. You're not going to get voicemail, and you're going to get the help that you need. Um, what am I missing? What, what else can you talk? Who are you um, honoring? Sure. So we're honoring a number of important individuals, Northeastern Savings Bank. They're on the Facebook. Yes, they're I on the Facebook. I saw them there. So if you go to the Facebook page, because you can say that you're interested, and mm -hmm. I think there's a contact number and a web address to you know register because you need to get a count. You can't just all show up. Right, well, exactly. That would be a good problem, right? <laughs> that, that would be, be a good, good problem. problem. Um, I think it's great. Um, health imperatives isn't just domestic violence and crisis intervention. What else is it? So I oversee the violence intervention programs. That's our VIP pillar of the program services. And then we also have our health intervention and prevention programs. Mm -hmm. So um, we do medical advocacy. We, we respond to area hospitals where victims will be getting rape examination kits and we provide advocacy. And then we can filter them into our rape crisis center, a new day and provide counseling services. Um, and then we also have our eight sexual and reproductive health clinics across mm -hmm. Southeast Massachusetts. And so the victims that we connect with in the hospital may need critical STI services, or um, we also offer colposcopy services and PEP and PrEP medication, HIV prevention medication. Mm -hmm. And so it's a nice wraparound service that we can provide to people. Um, we also have programs for young parents who are um, uh, 20 and under uh, can go to our Blue Hills and our Cape Cod sites and then for um, 23 and under we have our Brockton Young Parent Support Program. And you're headquartered right here in Brockton, right? Yes. West Chestnut Street? Yes. Okay, so everything you want to know, you go to www.healthimperatives.org. Yes. Um, you gave us the, the crisis line, which I'm going to say again, which is 508-588-8255. Put that down. People forget phone numbers now. Have it there. Because if it's not you, it could be somebody else you know that you want to help. So, Katie, I appreciate you coming in. We're glad to help you promote it. Um, I'm going to look at the calendar, and I don't know if you want a camera there, if we can send one over there that oh, day that to would cover the event. We, we, we could do that. I think it's a Tuesday, and I think mm -hmm. I teach, but okay. I'll yeah. find a staff person. Okay, so, wonderful. Nice to meet you, Very nice and to you're meet welcome you. to come back on any time and promote anything you do. You guys do great work for the community. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks a lot. You are watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.